Lenovo A5000 and Lenovo A536. These are the two smartphones that I am going to compare now. These are two smartphones from one stable and have different features uh, but there are some similarities and we will not talk about that similarities. When it comes to the looks, uh, indeed the A5000 looks much much better when compared the, to the Lenovo A536. The size of the Lenovo A5000 is 5 inches and the thickness is 10 mm. This makes uh, the Lenovo A5000 a thick smartphone and uh, it is not just this thickness but it also weighs 160 grams. This also makes it a bit of a heavy smartphone, not a heavier than the previous smartphones that used to come at this price point. It is still, uh, it weighs, you see, other smartphones used to come at 198 grams. When compared to that uh, smartphones, no, 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 this smartphone is not heavy at all. Uh, but still, when you compare with other smartphones, like the Core Prime has 130 grams, and um, uh, and other like uh, Huawei on a B, um, less, weigh, uh, less weight, and uh, A6000 Plus, they weigh less. So in that order, the Lenovo A5000 is a heavy smartphone and uh, Lenovo A536 is not that heavy as it is Lenovo A5000. So with, uh, we can proceed with the size now in the Lenovo A5, A536, the size is 5 inches, it is same as that of A5000 and the thickness is indeed noticeable. And not just the thickness but also it weighs not as much as uh, A5000 maybe, uh, it's a tie here and it weighs the, uh, the thickness and the weight of the Lenovo A536 is not, is not mentioned in the website that's why I cannot cover much about these two smartphone so thickness uh, in the case of Lenovo A536 I cannot cover the thickness and the weight but uh, the, uh, I am sharing the physical experience of holding the Lenovo A536 uh, and uh, the A5000 now let us discuss the gaming uh, display and performance of aspect of the Lenovo A5000. The display of Lenovo A5000 is HD. Not just that it has a IPS display, not just that the UI is beautiful. Everything of display on Lenovo A5000 is much, much better. In fact, it is really impressive and it uh, impresses uh, me very much. I like the looks and the display here. Uh, when it comes to performance, the uh, the A5000 has 1.3 GHz quad-core processor uh, coupled with 1 GB of RAM. A uh, lot of games run on this smartphone and uh, it really impressed me. And then, uh, yeah, the touch is also fast in this time. Uh, other time, uh, previous Lenovo smartphones, the touch was not fast. But uh, on Lenovo A5000, the touch is fast. Now, let us see the same aspects of uh, the A536. The display on A536 is dull and are not par with the Lenovo A5000 and so is the performance. The performance is not very bad at all. It is neck to neck. In fact, uh, this is one smartphone uh, that impressed me before the Lenovo A5000 impressed me. So this smartphone is also close to my heart because how it performed at that time was really impressive. And it also performs uh, really well now. It performs better than the Core Prime, Mono B and other smartphones. But still, when it compared to the Lenovo A5000, it feels a little slow, slightly slow. And you have to be very... Uh, very interesting to looking comparing these two smartphones then only you will notice the difference and uh, no, the otherwise not at all and also the yes the ram is same in both these smartphones the camera on lenovo a5000 is 8 megapixels and uh, in the rear and 2 megapixels on the front the uh, quality of the camera is average and so is the quality of the lenovo a536 both are average uh, but uh, the front camera of lenovo a536 is slightly better than the front camera of Lenovo A5000. The audio on Lenovo A5000 is top class when compared with the audio of Lenovo A536. The Lenovo A536, the speakers are really, really dull and uh, it does not produce good audio at all. While the Lenovo A5000 has improved in case of audio and produces good audio. The one department where Lenovo A5000 stands out when compared with the Lenovo A536 is the battery. The battery on Lenovo A5000 is 4000 mAh while it is half in Lenovo A536 this makes Lenovo A5000 really impressive you don't have to charge the smartphone for four days if you are a normal user but if you are a gamer indeed you have to charge in every two days and I think uh, nobody plays games uh, for continuously 10 hours so it is an, ad an advantage you can use Lenovo A5000 without charging for two days and thanks for watching we will meet next time